August 2021, the air was electric. It stood on edge, on its tiptoes peering over the edge of the school year to come. Students and teachers alike entered the year with questions, anxiety, excitement, and so many unknowns. With so much uncertainty, it was time to find some answers by leaning on what we know. We are Alvarado. We stand together with honor. For years, the students and staff worked diligently to create a school culture grounded in honor, values, and beliefs. A school rich in student-centered decision-making inside and outside of the classroom. Unfortunately, this grounding was a bit shaky with the time spent in distance learning. Going into this year, we knew not one of our students had ever set foot onto Alvarado's campus. They had never lived the honor culture we had worked so hard to build. Don't get me wrong, during distance learning, our culture had been taught. However, it had never truly been experienced on a school campus. This left us with a unique circumstance. How do we rebuild a culture of teaching and learning rich in our honor values and beliefs? How do we create a student-centered culture rich with student voice, innovative learning, and opportunities? Belief-driven learning has been the answer. Students and teachers have worked together to find ways to access the content that center around our values and beliefs. Walk a Mile in My Shoes has become a unifying theme that has provided us with the opportunity to recenter all that anchors us in our shared vision, allowing all to explore belief-driven learning in our classrooms. Student voice and student choice are the foundation of my entire classroom. I think it's crucial to provide opportunities for students to discover the way they love to learn and to hone in on those strengths to guide their learning, but also to help them feel invested and connected in their educational journey. Empowering students helps them find their passion and take ownership of their unique abilities, which will then be applied to their own personal growth. Using student voice as the heart and the driving energy in everything we do in the classroom has grown my students, but also me. I've learned to listen, to understand, and have found that my connections with students are deeper and more meaningful. The empowerment seen in our students goes beyond the classroom walls. It's inspiring and meaningful. Our honor values are our core foundation here at Alvarado, and these values, whether it's in our classrooms, whether it's in our lessons, whether it's through these amazing PBL projects, help communicate our school's story along with our mission. We use these opportunities, such as this PBL exhibition, to build the type of atmosphere we want to foster for both the staff and students. With the closing of the year, just around the corner, I realized we needed to celebrate. We needed to share our learning with our community. And so our exhibition, A Celebration of Learning, was born. The thought of it was overwhelming, but giving ourselves the gift of a moment to step back and out of the everyday stresses to embrace this unique year was exciting. That buzz of excitement filled the school, building an exhibition of four teachers to 27, allowing for every student to share their journey this year. Amazingly, the buzz pushed us even further it pushed us to create virtual exhibitions housed on our school website, providing students even more opportunities to showcase their beautiful work. Dear future self, I hope by the time you read this, you've already figured out what you want to do in life. During my few weeks here at Alvarado, I've learned so much. I still want to live by honor even when I'm not in Alvarado. I feel like honor is a way of living life fully. I hope you still carry these beliefs around with you in the future. It'll help out so much. People will see so much in you. You'll be trustworthy and it'll pay off in life. I'm so glad I came here and I'm happy I follow and understand these beliefs and values. One thing I plan on doing is showing honor with other people who don't come to Alvarado. Show them a great way to live life and be happy with their accomplishments. Hopefully they'll, ask, they'll also understand and follow them. One thing I learned at Alvarado is to never give up when you're feeling weak or like you can't do something. To always learn something in life or to always teach someone something. I have learned to always be my greatest version. I hope by this time you still value this, believed, and have had a great future so far.